Over the past decade, the focus of technology competency for lawyers has primarily centered around practical aspects of their work, such as using technology for communication, drafting legal documents, etc. While lawyers have had to adapt to new ways of performing their work and tasks and ensuring security of client information, the core legal work itself remained largely unaffected, even during the pandemic and the transition to remote work. For example, courts still primarily rely heavily on paper-based processes, even if they have adopted electronic filing and other online tools. However, several factors now have the potential to disrupt the legal industry significantly, particularly the economy and the widespread adoption of artificial intelligence AI. This rapid disruption can lead to changes in market conditions and job displacements, but it also presents an opportunity for flexible, open-minded and entrepreneurial law students. Rather than simply adding legal technology to existing processes, you must embrace innovation and technology that can transform both the delivery of legal services and the nature of the legal work itself. The legal technology framework, originally developed by Richard Siskind in late 1990s, provides a framework for understanding how technology is used in the legal field currently and what to expect in the future. The grid consists of different components representing various aspects of legal technology use. The engine room represents the legal technologies that drive the business and keep the organization running. The bottom right of the framework represents knowledge sharing, while the top left represents communication with clients. The top right represents the ability to deliver legal services online. Historically, the bulk of technology innovation and investments in the legal field focused on tools created by lawyers for lawyers. The bottom line of the graph with a large concentration on the bottom left, the engine room. These tools primarily benefited the providers themselves rather than the users. These tools include document management, practice management, human resource software, and project management software. On the knowledge side, there are internal knowledge databases, templates, document automation, and e-learning platforms. Recently, there has been a shift toward adopting technologies that target clients particularly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. These technologies were necessary to ensure the continuance of traditional legal services, and they mainly fall into the top left category of the framework. They include online payment tools, project management systems, email and video meeting platforms and other collaboration platforms. However, these technologies have not significantly changed business models but rather provide a temporary solution during challenging times. While there has been some increase in automation, the real potential to transformation lies in the top right quadrant of the framework where artificial intelligence and changing consumer habits are driving innovation and creating opportunities for impactful services and products. Despite the significant strides made in legal technology, it has not yet reached the masses or made meaningful impact on the practice of law or access to justice. A staggering 80% of low-income Americans and 50% of middle-income Americans face legal problems without the assistance of a lawyer. Even those who qualify for free legal representation receive limited or no legal help 50% of the time. Furthermore, the majority of cases in courts are civil cases such as divorce, traffic violation, and consumer protection where legal representation is not guaranteed. On the other hand, the bulk of investments in legal technology remains focused on high return investment areas such as tax, e-discovery, accounting, contract drafting, practice management software, etc. While these areas are important, they fail to address the broader need for affordable access to justice. 
A more comprehensive understanding and utilization of legal technology is necessary to transform law practice and bridge the access to justice gap. To have a meaningful impact, lawyers must go beyond their traditional roles and engage in multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary collaboration to create and shape the technology of the future. Over the years, many jobs have emerged in the legal field. Some have been borrowed from other industries and adapted to the specificities of legal practice. The common aspect is often a greater focus on the user experience. The following are some examples. The role of legal designers is becoming increasingly important as more legal applications and solutions cater to users who may not be familiar with the complexities of the legal system. These professionals combine legal expertise with design methodologies to make legal services and systems more user-friendly, accessible, and effective. By using a human-centered approach, legal designers understand the needs of users and create solutions that meet those needs. They simplify legal language and processes, develop user-friendly interfaces, and employ, and employ visual design and storytelling techniques to communicate complex legal concepts to non-legal audiences. The role of legal operations manager is becoming increasingly crucial in the evolving legal, legal industry. These professionals specialize in managing the business operation of legal department or law firm, aiming to enhance efficiency and effectiveness. They handle tasks such as budget management, technology implementation, and process development. Responsibilities may include overseeing vendor relationships, implementing new technologies, managing legal projects, and handling billing and invoices from outside counsel. They can also ensure compliance and risk management and collaborate with other departments to align legal operations with broader business objectives. As market conditions shift and client expectations rise, the widespread adoption of technology will bring forth disruptive tools that challenge the traditional provision of legal services. These tools may directly challenge the billing business model or disrupt the gatekeeping systems in the legal industry. The following examples highlight a few of these disruptive technologies. Workflow automation includes document automation, utilization of chatbots, intake, and triage systems. As long as the legal system is print-based, document automation will remain the leading example in workflow automation. Document automation could be used to generate single legal documents or complex packets used for large-scale operations such as banking transactions or complex litigations. These services can be used internally to expedite processes or they could be offered online as a self-service either for a fee or free of charge. No matter what scale or how it is available, its impact on productivity is undisputed. Whether it is in print or digital format, lawyers spend an enormous amount of time working through a large number of documents. For research, contract review, preparation for trial, audit, etc. This way of conducting business is slow, expensive, and prone to errors. Alternative systems that utilize machine learning dramatically lower the cost and improve performance. The good thing is that these tools are becoming more accessible than ever. In contract review, for example, AI-powered contract review software can quickly analyze large volumes of contract, identify key clauses, and extract relevant information. In compliance monitoring, AI can be used to monitor regulation, regulatory compliance by analyzing documents such as government IDs, forms, policies, and procedures. This can help companies identify potential compliance risk and take proactive steps to mitigate them. No-code or low-code software allows anyone to create an application without writing a single line of code. You simply go from idea to execution in fraction of the time it used to take. 
These platforms have visual builders such as drag and drop tools that allow users to manipulate pre-built code blocks to design solution while the platform auto-generates the code in the background. With basic programming knowledge, users could use low-code software to further customize their solution by adding custom elements or integrating it with third-party platforms. Many professional developers use low-code platform to expedite the development process, build prototypes, or automate routine and simple tasks within large organization. Thanks to the advancement in artificial intelligence, the legal landscape is witnessing a true revolution. At the heart of this transformation is generative AI. It's a powerful set of tools that can craft content, simulate scenarios, and predict outcomes. While AI and machine learning are not new, what sets today's apart is the unprecedented convergence of vast data and enhanced computational capabilities. This synergy allows generative AI to tackle issues that were previously deemed too complex or expensive. A notable application of AI is bridging the gap of access to justice. As we discussed earlier, many of these solutions have already been tried separately. But as more users and legal service providers embrace innovations, they will gradually seek ways to connect these solutions to generate a more significant impact. Self-help portals are an example of this adaptation. After COVID-19, a growing number of courts and other providers of legal services are offering, offering online tools to support self-help litigants. In the past, these services were also separated and disconnected. The trend is to centralize education resources and self-help tools into a single portal where self-help litigants can learn about the legal issues and access forms or fill out petitions online and automatically file them with the court. Such solutions have a great impact to the end users, but also help streamline court processes. In conclusion, the rapid advancements in legal technology present an exciting opportunity for lawyers to make a profound impact on society. Rather than perceiving these technological advancements as a threat, legal professionals should view them as an opportunity to transform people's lives and engage in new practice areas. By embracing technology, we have the potential to bridge the access to justice gap and enhance job satisfaction within the legal field. To drive the necessary changes, it is essential for you to proactively expand your knowledge and skills beyond traditional legal expertise. This requires a commitment to continuous learning, actively seeking opportunities for growth, and fostering collaboration with technologists and experts from diverse fields. By adopting a forward-thinking mindset and embracing the possibilities that technology offers, legal professionals can drive innovation and be at the forefront of the positive change.